reading aloud to you Corduroy's Best Halloween Ever Written by Don Freeman And illustrated by Lisa McHugh It was almost Halloween. Corduroy and his friends were getting ready. They went to pick out a pumpkin for Corduroy's Halloween party. There was so much to do before the party. Corduroy raked the leaves. Rabbit, puppy, and mouse tried to help, but jumping in the leaf piles was much more fun. Corduroy and his friends helped Mrs. Pig decorate her store windows. She thanked them with a hot, delicious pumpkin pie. Yum! Back at Corduroy's house, they all started talking about their costumes for Halloween. I'm going to be a pumpkin, said Mouse. I'm going as a lion, said Rabbit. The king of the jungle. My costume is a secret, said Puppy. It's really great. I want you all to be surprised. Corduroy was worried. He didn't have an idea of her costume yet. What would he wear for Halloween? Later, while Corduroy was shopping for his party, he spotted a whole bunch of costumes. Finding a costume would be easy with all these choices. Corduroy tried on the lion costume. Roar! He looked ferocious, but then he remembered that Rabbit was dressing up as a lion. He tried on the pumpkin costume. It fit perfectly. But, oops, didn't Mouse say he was going as a pumpkin? I know, thought Corduroy. I will be a scary witch with a pointy hat. But then he remembered something. His friend Dolly wanted to dress up as a witch. Then he saw the perfect thing, a dinosaur mask. Wow, thought Corduroy. I can make a great costume to go with that mask. Corduroy went home to work on his costume. He found an old pair of green pajamas and some scraps of fabric. He cut, he glued, he even sewed. Finally, he was finished. Halloween night finally came. Corduroy was so excited for his party. Ding dong! The doorbell rang. Who could it be? The party wasn't supposed to start for another hour. Corduroy opened the door. Puppy looked very sad. Corduroy, I had the best costume and it fell apart. It's all in pieces. What should I do? Corduroy thought about it. He loved his costume, but Puppy was so sad, and Corduroy knew that friends were more important than costumes. It's okay, Puppy. I have a costume you can wear. Really? said Puppy. But Corduroy, what will you wear? Don't worry, I have an idea, said Corduroy. But he didn't, really. What would he wear? Corduroy thought and thought. He thought all through the party. It was a really fun party, too. They bobbed for apples and carved jack-o'-lanterns and ate cookies and punch. They even danced the monster mash. It was almost time to go trick-or-treating and Corduroy still didn't have a costume. Suddenly, he really did have an idea. He carefully moved everything off the table. He held up the tablecloth. Perfect, thought Corduroy. He cut holes for eyes and a mouth. He looked at the punch and chocolate stains all over the tablecloth. 
I am a ghost who just came from a Halloween party, said Corduroy. All his friends laughed. It was a great costume. Let's go trick or treat. Everybody loved Corduroy's costume. What a creative idea, they said. Corduroy felt proud, and Puppy loved his dinosaur costume. Everyone was happy. It was the best Halloween ever. The end. I hope you enjoyed this story. Happy Halloween to everyone. I hope you all have a safe and fun Halloween this year. For more stories, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and have a lovely day.